this is a sort of follow up video from the last um, un the unboxing I did this is more of a last time was initial impressions this is more of a verdict over one week period so I've had the phone for a week now it was last Wednesday I got it so this is going to be about what my opinion of the phone has become have I found any um, errors anything may need to be improved so yeah first off the battery life the batch I I used my phone pretty reasonably in usage, texting, um, picture taking, YouTube, Wikipedia, Firefox. I was using them all in moderation for quite a while, and the batch at the end of the day, after a full charge, the battery life was thirty eight percent. So, in comparison to like some of the Android phones, that's not too bad. But it's not exactly something you'd get from a black from one of the older Blackberries or a Nokia brick, understandably. So its battery is mediocre. Okay, so um, the texting app. I'm not going to open it because I have been using it for texting, but overall it's quite good. It um, displays it quite uh, nicely, and the contacts is also good. But that also has numbers. I'm not going to display that. So yeah. The only problem with the texting app is I have a bit of a bugbear with it. Often, after you text, it opens the the screen which shows how much credit you have, and when you press X to close that, it opens the phone application, expecting that to be the last thing you used, which is kind of annoying. So, if there's only one thing that I that's probably the main thing I find annoying about the phone. So, I realized last time I never actually demonstrated the web browser, so let's do that. So in Google we can type in anything like off the top of my head we can just go on Tumblr, best website ever. So okay, so now on the Tumblr Tumblr sign up screen. So from here we can do a re so this is the web browser. So we can open um another window, so we can this website we can go on um, Bing unfortunately so here's Bing has a stupid picture because made by Microsoft so yeah this is it's a very nice way for setting up different tabs open it's yeah I, I very much like how they've done it here His settings for, for data, you can go back, and at the bottom you'll see multiple things. So there's back, forward, and back. Share the page, and if we go back here, there's also this favorite button. So if you press the favorite button, you can bookmark it or add it to the home screen. Because uh, Firefox West uses HTML5 apps, you can pretty much download the page. So some pages may need internet connection, like Tumblr would, to um, load stuff on your dash, so definitely need internet connection for that. But you can launch the program. So let's demonstrate this. So, so you've added this to home screen now. So now on the home screen, we can click sign up to Tumblr here, and it will open the page as an HTML5. So that's really nice thing that it does. So that's one of the main um, benefits of using Firefox OS. Yes, it. Um, HTML5 functionality. Okay, Firefox OS doesn't come with a uh, file manager by default, but there are quite a few to choose from from the App Store. So you can go into the file manager here. I found gone to the, it has SD card internally, which is one gigabyte roundabout, and I have an external uh, SD card. So that's at first it didn't load properly, but now it does, thankfully. So yeah, you can go forward and back within the files. Let's try still the music. You can click here, you can make new folder, new file, and to reload. So it's very simple file manager, but it's well it's it's definitely needed and maybe the developers may want to think about adding a file manager by default. So other things. If you hold down the home button, it will take you to this screen. Here you can um, go over the apps you have open. So when you when you press the home button, it just takes you back to the home screen. The app is still running, so you have to click, hold the home button, and it comes up the screen. You press the X to close it, 
and if you want to go back onto it you just tap it but then again you can just close it again okay next I want to demonstrate the YouTube app so I just opened it onto my channel so the channels load nicely there's search of course and I'm quite far away from my internet since my bedroom is pretty much the other corner of the house from the router unfortunately so I can just open a video and play it yeah yeah that's probably because I'm quite far away from the router and the Wi-Fi connection is disgraceful but yeah so it works so often with apps what they do is they have this little I'm not sure if you can see it's a small app uh, out this is the next one, okay short. today we're going to be doing adders and subtractors prepubescent me speaking so as I was saying at the bottom you'll see a small um, normally um, orange arrow of something like the Facebook app uh, as an example, I think the Firefox app may have it. So when you press it, it, oops, it comes up with um, refreshed forward and back, so you can go back and back again. So yeah, that's how you navigate through things like that. So yeah, so next I want to demonstrate the music player. So there we go, music. All right, this song couldn't be copyrighted because I'm an anime, but as you see here. The music player is functional. So the only thing I have against the music player is the playlist functionality. So uh, the only thing you can do in the playlists is the highest rated, recently added, most played and least played. Whereas for myself, I would like to create my own playlists. I'm sure many other people do. So I think that may be coming in a future update because it's something you can it's something expected by having playlists. So hopefully they do that soon. Next is the Wikipedia app. We can search something on Wikipedia. Yeah, okay, I have something open stem cells. I was just reading this. So yeah, the Wikipedia app formats nicely and extra sections have that like often Wikipedia. It's quite simple. Also has other language features, settings, etc. So the Wikipedia it works as app works ex as expected. Other game I only have one game, it's the only game I actually ever play. 2048. It's really fun. I have completed it, but not on this phone yet. Whoops. The only thing it's it's very slow, as it was when I first done it. It's not just this game. I've tried a few other 2048 clones, and they're all this slow. So I'm thinking that it's probably the JavaScript, and and it's quite slow on the JavaScript. But the only other thing about this is you can also scroll up and down. Because at the end of the day, it's HTML5, so it is pretty much just a web page on your phone. So that that can be annoying while playing a game, but some games may not have something like that happening. Yeah, I should probably stop. The email app. Not really want to read my emails, but yeah, it works pretty much as expected. Okay, so my overall thoughts of the phone. I like this phone very much. I definitely prefer it to my older Samsung Galaxy Ace. Um, is the is the one the phone I used to have was the original Galaxy Ace, uh, Galaxy Ace version one. So this is it here. It just happens to be here. How convenient. So the phone was functional, but I didn't really like it that much. It was always very laggy, and like just just generally using the phone. And so for this, I'm just going to compare it to this phone, as an, for example. So when I was using this phone, I had Cyanogen on, not just Android. And I found the phone to be quite slow with the later technology. So this is where I very much like Firefox OS. Although the apps may not be as fast, at, um, the home screen, and just moving around with the default apps, is very fast. It, even though the specs of the phone are, prob I think they're actually worse than the Samsung's. But Firefox OS is a very slick operating system, very smooth and quite smart using HTML5 apps instead of the Android over here's JavaScript apps. The only thing that 
uh, one of the things though that I prefer about this phone is well it's really a lot of it's the features like this phone has a f for instance a flash whereas this phone does not albeit um my this uh Firefox ZTE OpenC has in my opinion better sound quality and also when you put the, sp the headphones in it's also very nice the default headphones are surprisingly okay the default headphones and um, okay so that's pr um so the only thing i like my galaxy s more for is has a much richer settings menu here the setting men settings menu is quite shallow if that makes sense that i wish there were more things i could set on the menu so yeah so i haven't been using my phone as much today and it's i've been i char only char i took it off charge this morning now it's on 79 percent battery so it's actually quite retains its battery quite well also for the languages um there aren't that many to choose from like for instance you may not have uh, i don't know in uh, like vietnamese or something there's not that many languages here so or greek for instance they may need to enrich that. Yeah, so overall I very much like the phone. I have had a few problems with it though. For instance on the lock screen I've had it crash like the key the whole like all the keyboard here t crash. I could go on the camera app there but the keyboard crash. That wasn't the only time as well. Also um, once I've had it crash while I'm actually using the keyboard on the so the keyboard just crashed completely so overall the keyboard's quite nice but it has crashed on me and the one time where it crashed on the, lo the lock screen I had to take the battery out and put it back in again so my conclusions on the phone I think this phone is in its price range a very valuable purpose in an age of phones like big pillows of <laughs> pillows like the Samsung um, S series which you could pretty much sleep on um, this phone is a nice alternative I guess because it's like nearly a quarter of the price only like 70 pounds I think it costs or 70 dollars rather I don't quite know and it's ex very cheap and it has great pretty good build quality and Firefox OS is a developing operating system so you're going to have to have to um, accept that there will be problems and crashes but when the operating system gains some ground and gets better um, this phone is going to be very good even though it may have a, f a Firefox OS maybe have a few problems now it is still um, be very functional there's no real reason why you can't use it the app store may be quite barren but if you're someone like me who only really needs 2048 and a few other utility apps there's not really a problem I'm not a very big phone gamer so I would recommend this phone definitely it and yeah so I, I definitely recommend this phone to anyone it's very good if, you, if it's going to be your first phone because it's not too expensive to replace and it's very good if if you're prone to losing your phones but you still want a the smartphone experience and want a web browser on your phone so that's pretty much everything I have to say on this phone I like it very much thanks for watching and goodbye